Classic Tales, Arabian Nights. The Greek King and the Physician Dobain. In ancient Greece, there lived a king afflicted with leprosy, a condition none of his doctors could cure. Then, a learned and clever physician named Doban arrived at his court. Doban was well versed in languages and an expert in herbs and medicines. He promised the king a cure without the use of any medicines or ointments, provided the king followed his instructions precisely. Grateful for any hope of recovery, the king agreed and vowed to make Doban and his descendants rich forever if successful. The next day, Doban brought a polo club, which he had hollowed out and filled with a drug. He instructed the king to play polo, using the club to strike the ball until he felt his body warm from the exertion. This activity would allow the remedy to penetrate his body. After playing, the king was to bathe and sleep, which would complete the treatment. Following Doban's instructions, the king played until he felt sufficiently heated, then bathed and went to sleep. The next morning, he awoke completely cured to the joy and amazement of all. The king lavished Doban with rewards and continuous favors, which sparked envy and jealousy in the king's avaricious grand vizier. The vizier privately warned the king that Doban might be a spy and potential assassin, arguing that Doban's ability to cure could also extend to the capacity to kill. Initially, the king defended Doban, skeptical of the vizier's claims. However, the vizier persisted, suggesting it was safer to sacrifice the innocent than to spare the guilty. Troubled by these insinuations, the king became convinced of Doban's potential threat and ordered his execution. The following day, Doban was summoned and grimly informed of his fate. Stunned, he asked what crime he had committed. The king accused him of espionage and intent to assassinate, declaring that Doban's execution was necessary to remove such a threat. Doban pleaded for his life arguing the injustice. But seeing the king's resolve, he requested a day to settle his affairs and the chance to present the king with a book. He claimed this book contained many curiosities and that if the king read a specific line on the sixth page after his execution, all his questions would be answered. Curious and enticed by the prospect of acquiring a book filled with unknown curiosities, the king agreed to Doban's request, but remained wary of any deceit. To ensure Doban did not escape, he sent him back to his home under the watchful eyes of a strong guard detail. Doban, aware that his fate was sealed regardless of his innocence, settled all his affairs. The next day, he returned to the palace carrying a large book and a basin. Upon arrival, Doban once again instructed the king, when my head is severed, place it in this basin to stop the blood flow. My head will then be able to speak and guide you to the book's secrets. He reiterated his innocence, telling the king one last time that there had been a grave misunderstanding. Despite Doban's final plea, the king, clouded by suspicion and influenced by his vizier's whispers, remained unconvinced of his loyalty. After Doban was executed and his head fell to the basin, miraculously Doban's eyes snapped open and he began to speak, directing the king to open the book. The king found the pages stuck together and used his saliva to turn them. Upon reaching the sixth page and finding no writing, the king expressed his confusion to the talking head. Turn more pages, the head instructed calmly. As the king continued to leaf through the book, he unwittingly wet his fingers with saliva to separate the stuck pages, unknowingly smearing a potent poison, 
that Doban had embedded within the paper. Within moments of absorbing the poison through his skin, the king's vision blurred dramatically. His grasp on reality wavered, and he staggered, ultimately collapsing from his throne in a sudden and tragic downfall. With his last breath, Dobin's head remarked, Tyrant, see how cruelty and injustice are punished. The king died at that moment, just as Dubain's head ceased speaking, illustrating the severe consequences of his unjust actions.